Hey guys, so this video is a little bit different than really all the other videos that I've posted on YouTube. Um, and that's because I cannot figure out how to answer this video. So I'm looking to the community here. Thank you guys so much for following me. Um, and I'm hoping that someone out there can show me how to do this. So um, usually what I would say is that this question is a simplified question, right? We know that because the question is short. It is only about a line and a half or so. Simplified questions are typically between one and three lines long. And the other sign is that the question contains an expression, right? So whenever I see that, I immediately think, okay, I just need to simplify something here. So this question says, which of the following expressions is equivalent to uh, this expression here, where Q is greater than zero and R is less than zero? So that was the first thing that kind of ticked me off. It's like, well, R is less than zero. Why would I want my R value to be negative? And then I have to include you know, have to deal with imaginary numbers here. If I were to use, let's say the strategy, plug in your own number, which is definitely a strategy that I'm considering, given that the answer choices contain variables. But when I look at that, and I say, I don't really want to plug a negative number in there and introduce imaginary numbers. And when I look at the fact that answer choices really all these answer choices, none of these answer choices have a, um, a fractional exponent. And, you know, choice B, C, and D are really, um, they are the radical form of, let's say, maybe a fractional exponent. So what I decided to do was to take the original expression, so my square root 2Q plus root R to the 2 thirds power, and just to convert that exponential form into a radical form, right? So the three in the denominator here becomes a type of root. So this becomes a, a cube root. And then I still have my 2Q, don't forget the square root around that, uh, plus square root R, close parentheses. And then the numerator from this fraction becomes a power, right? So this is a squared here. So with that, I can simplify further by actually squaring what's under the cube root. So I still have my cube root, but then I'd have the square root of 2Q plus root R times itself, right? The square root of 2Q plus root R. Fill that all in. So now I can FOIL this by multiplying the first terms square root 2Q times square root 2Q, which would just be a 2Q. And then the outer term, square root 2Q times square root R, which would be the square root of 2QR. And then once again, square root R for my I for a FOIL, the inner two terms, square root R times square root 2Q, that would be the square root of 2 Q, R again, and last, or the L from FOIL, square root R times square root of R, which would just be R. And all of that, again, would still be under my cube root. Now, I do have like terms here, right? So that can become 2 square root 2 Q, R, right? Because I have two of them, and then my plus R and my plus 2 Q, and again, that is still all under the cube root. So here is the answer that I continue to get. I do not see how I can simplify that any further. But of course, the answer here is not even listed as one of the options. Um, if I had to guess, I would say that the answer choice was D. That is what I've seen online as the correct answer. That's what is what I see in the QAS from College Board as a correct answer for this question. I only would say that that's a good answer because for some reason I like this four better than the two because I don't even know why, right? It's just a hunch and I would have got it right, but I don't like, I'm not gonna pretend like I knew how to get there, right? So this is the answer that I'm coming up with. If you guys could help me out, write in the comments how you were able to get choice D, that would be greatly appreciated. I can come back, remake the video, give you a shout out on the channel, um, maybe even send you a, a digital gift card to Amazon or to wherever you want, um, 10 bucks or something like that. I really would appreciate it. So please do write in the comments and let me know how you got the correct answer here so I can know how to do it too. Thank you. Bye-bye.